I recently decided to review a Mercedes-Benz G-Wagon. Unfortunately, it turns out that Mercedes doesn't provide their vehicles to people like me. Castro? Sure, no problem, but not me. Kim Jong-il? Sure, no problem, but not me. Emperor Hirohito? Of course, but not me. Saddam Hussein? Fortunately, I found a G-Wagon to review. This 1987 240 GD, a diesel-powered convertible model with 80 horsepower from the Cold War. And while it's not as luxurious or as technologically advanced as the new model, I think it comes pretty close, as I'll demonstrate today. Let's talk seats. Oh sure, the new G-Wagon has dynamic multi-contour leather with heated this and then he ventilated that. But you know what this thing has? Blue velour. And there are two positions, this and this. It's the same deal in the back. The new one has tray tables and screens and entertainment systems. This one, more blue velour. Only one position though, you don't want to overdo it. Now let's talk technology. In the new one you have quad zone automatic climate control where it gives you the perfect air temperature. Well this one is pretty advanced too. For example, you have one little slider with a circle and an up arrow. One little slider with a circle and a down arrow, and then one that's blue and red. Oh, and you also have this little wheel. I mean, that's cutting edge. Now, I admit that one area where this truck comes up short compared to the new one is infotainment. That's because the new one has a big screen with all these buttons, and it can do all sorts of cool stuff. Whereas the center stack in this one is limited to this black switch of unknown function, hazard lights, this radio with two buttons, mysteriously labeled M and U, and this little black plastic thing. But this car does have two major technology advantages over a new one. Number one, an airplane gauge. Number two, you think your Bluetooth is cool? This thing has a built-in flip phone. could kill you with this. If you're a very astute reader, you'll notice that this G-Wagon looks a lot like the current one with one major exception. No roof. Aside from that, however, there really are a lot of similarities. Like this unusual line is the same. This door is the same and so is the window. The windshield is the same. The fenders are the same. The hood and brake lights are the same. And so is the door latch with its trademark G-Wagon sound. Even the Mercedes badge on the front that reminds everyone you're too good for a Jeep is exactly the same as it is on a new one. See, I don't need your stinking G-Wagon, Mercedes-Benz. I have to admit, I love how this thing drives. I mean, yeah, it's slow and loud and a little chilly, but just watch me go down the road. It's 30 kilometers. Another cool thing, this truck is a manual. Can't get that in a new one, and that means I can rev it up and throw it around corners. So there you go, Mercedes-Benz. I don't need your stinking G-Wagon because I found this cool 80s one that's basically the same in every way. Ceausescu, sure, but not me. Gaddafi, why not, but not me. Pol Pot, sure, but not me. Idi Amin, no problem, but not me. Andrew Collins, sure, but not me. Chairman Mao.